We have uh, results coming in for some of those cabinet ministers, yes. more after Christophe Castaner. Well, yes, we have uh, especially uh, the result of the uh, Prime Minister, Elisabeth Borne. She was running for the first time and she was elected uh, in uh, Western France. So clearly a sigh of relief uh, for her. There are 15 ministers uh, running. We already know that the junior minister uh, in charge of maritime affairs, uh, Justine Benin has uh, been beaten in the overseas territory of uh, Guadeloupe. Uh, we'll have to see how the other government ministers fare. Uh, but an important uh, other results, uh, it's still uh, not totally final. But one of the key lieutenants of uh, Emmanuel Macron, the speaker of that National Assembly that's being re-elected tonight, Richard Ferrand uh, apparently is uh, out and that he's been beaten in, uh, also in Western France. We'll have to confirm that. But again, this would illustrate that this is not a good night for Emmanuel Macron and even some of his close allies. All right, a personal question, Charlotte Maviel. Uh, what results have you? You're running um, for the Northern Europe District again yes. uh, for the French abroad with that new popular union coalition. How'd you fare? I don't have my uh, results yet, so uh, we will have the results of the online vote because our online vote took place uh, until Wednesday, and so the reveal of it hasn't been uh, done yet. So we'll find out. Uh, we'll find out soon. Um, but yes, I think it's a it's a good result for for our alliance. It's not a good night for Emmanuel Macron, as you said, but most importantly, it's a very very horrible result when we look at the far right, and it's really ideas that we need to fight. And I think this is uh, the worst news tonight: is that far right result and we really need to try and battle those ideas, not like has been done during the mandate of uh, President Macron, where, you know, we've had secretaries of state say that being woke was more dangerous than being from the far right. His uh, separatism law, his asylum and immigration law, all of that hasn't really um, battled those ideas strongly enough. And, uh, and I think the low turnout is also a, a disappointment and I think a lack of consideration of those elections. But it's a good result for us and for me, for my Green Party, it's looking like we're going to get the most MPs in Parliament in our history. So at least there's uh, progress of our ideas. Thierry Masson, uh, what conclusions do you draw from uh, what are for now estimates, but as the night wears on, will become firm results? Yes. Um, look, I think the first conclusion that we have to take is uh, the abstention. Uh, there is one out of two voters who decided not to go to the vote, and that's something which is, I think, a collective issue that we have all to deal, uh, to deal with. The second would be something that you pointed out, the, the fact that the far uh, right, but also the far left, is so high in the Assembly. That's something which is completely unknown in our Assembly. There will be a political group for, um, for the Rassemblement National, and that's something which is extremely uh, worrying. You attributed the fault of this uh, off uh, to the President uh, and the, the majority. I think if you would have fought very strongly against uh, the uh, national rally, I think your candidate would have withdrawn, for instance, when there was the, the chance to have uh, someone from the national rally uh, being elected, and you didn't do that. There was also no call for the uh, new candidate to vote for the candidate of the presidential majority. Uh, that's something I regret. That's something we decided to do, and uh, that has a concrete effect when you want to fight against the national rally. Uh, that, that being said, I mean, you can't be happy. No, we, we, of course. It's uh, a major disappointment. I mean, you were hoping for, you know, absolutely majority. You're so getting the, much less than that. The major uh, uh, dissatisfaction will come when we will be sure of the result. For the time being, we have to see the provisional results. Uh, I hope during the, the evening that we we'll spend together, it will go up, uh, up and up. We will, uh, 289 we will is far from 224, right? We, we have to see uh, for the final, final results. Roman Le Gleu, when you woke up this morning, did you know your party would perhaps be playing kingmaker? Well, the Les Républicains resist. We have, uh, with the 78 MPs, a very important group in the new assembly. And um, this is um, a, a very good situation to uh, really um, um, uh, reform the country, because we will be able to vote the, the laws we really want to 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 for, for the reform to to, to the reform the country and f uh, uh, we will uh, have the ability to change the law because uh, this position will give the possibility with the Senate where we are uh, have a majority in the Senate already so we will be uh, able to uh, to have a big influence on on the laws uh, and being in the opposition but changing the laws.
Mark Perlman, our partners at Ipsos, uh, they uh, spoke to voters uh, during the week and asked them which way they wanted the next government to lean. Right. It's quite uh, interesting uh, because when they asked that uh, question, uh, and we can look at a graph, I, I believe, uh, they showed that 38% uh, 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 were hoping that Emmanuel Macron's second uh, mandate would uh, move towards uh, the left, more left-wing policies being put in place. A similar proportion wanted uh, things to remain uh, the same, uh, and only 25% wanted him to move uh, to the right. Uh, but obviously, uh, given uh, the estimates we're getting, uh, given that the only potential allies uh, will be uh, your party, it doesn't seem uh, Emmanuel Macron will follow the wishes of the voters. Yeah, we will have a very important role to play in this new parliament. As I said, we have the majority already in the French Senate. And in the, 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 the National Assembly, uh, we will be uh, in a constructive opposition. But do you fear that if you, if you do go into a coalition, I don't know what negotiations will, are taking place as we speak already, probably, but do you fear that perhaps you won't reflect the will of the people if you go into coalition with Emmanuel Macron's party? The, the idea is to be in the opposition as we have been in, in the Senate. So there won't be a coalition? Well, uh, we will see what will happen now, but I think this will be like in, in the Senate during the last five years. We uh, voted some of the laws when we thought this, they were good for the country. And we were in the opposition when we thought this was not good laws. So this will be uh, law per law. Thierry Masson, is a coalition something you would like to see between um, Ensemble and the Conservative Les Républicains party? So unfortunately, something which is far too early now to already take this kind of uh, position just because we need to know the numbers. So you, you would understand that. I cannot uh, already go for uh, building coalitions on as we don't know the, the actual number. But I think there is something that is clear is that the two legislation that we want to put on the table uh, in the extraordinary session that we will have um, uh, in the summer are uh, topics which I think can unite a lot of people. When we want to have a law on the purchasing power to protect the people, I don't think it's right or left. When we want to have a law on the uh, urgency uh, of the climate crisis, I don't think it's something from the far or from the left. So I don't know about a coalition, but I hope everyone will be willing to work together uh, on these two urgencies that we have set up.